talking about Heinz, they're jumping on board. Yeah, just as Chevy and Doritos did for their Super Bowl Heinz, for the Super Bowl rather, Heinz is testing its consumers to see if they have what it takes to make a commercial. So in today's Consumer Tuesday segment, Dr. Audrey Gusky of Duquesne is here to tell us how it works. And Audrey, just another example of making the consumer a star. That should help sell more product, right? That's exactly right, Sunny. You know, it's interesting. We're all so proud of Heinz and Pittsburgh is the number, number one consumer as far as um, ketchup. And uh, Heinz is having a bit of problems as far as the sales. That's why they introduced the kids' ketchups, which were the purple and the blue and the green. And so what they found now is if you can get consumers involved in the advertising, the consumer-generated ad CGAs, what better way to do that? Do you realize that 11 billion ounces of ketchup are consumed every year by consumers? Wow. And Heinz is the number one um, buyer of uh, tomatoes. They buy two million pounds of tomatoes, tons, two million tons of tomatoes. And so um, as a result, they needed to sort of jumpstart things. And um, I think this might work for them. So exactly how is this going to work? I mean, someone from off of the street, uh, how do they get involved in all of this? Well, basically, you want to go online. You want to go on the Heinz website, and the campaign itself is called Top This. And what they're doing is recommending consumers create these ads. And the ads can be around 30 seconds to 60 seconds. And Heinz um, executives are going to be judging these ads. And what they're going to do is they're going to have the 15 top ads. You only have about a week left to go. You have till August the 6th to create these these ads and send them to the company and then the general public from on YouTube will select their mm -hmm. favorite ads and the winner will get fifty seven thousand dollars and the first uh, the other four winners will get fifty seven hundred so not too bad for creating an ad and Audrey we've talked about how the internet has revolutionized everything from shopping to communicating YouTube is just another mm -hmm. way it's happening what are the real results that companies are seeing though from the consumer being so closely tied in with the uh, actual advertising campaign well Sunny what we find is if, if consumers are watching the traditional ad which would have um, an ad company creating it and they're of course being paid for it consumers recognize that but if you can get someone who's passionate and excited about a particular product or service and they show that energy and the use of their product and their love for this product it really shows through in the advertising and so as a result the ads are much more fun much more real and consumers like to watch them obviously if you look at the popularity of YouTube I mean it's just by leaps and bounds become extremely popular with fans and people and so as a result I think it's that notion that hey you can be a star in the ads as well and I imagine because of that trend that we're seeing with YouTube that's why these companies are really trying to drive more and more people to the internet uh, is there a benefit in all of this oh there absolutely is a benefit because um, you know the the new media seems to be online and so a lot of consumers it's their option to go on YouTube and watch these or on any of the other websites and so it's not a matter of you're watching TV and a commercial comes on you are the one that's selecting that you actually want to watch that so as a result it's more effective people pay more attention to it they enjoy it more and as a result Result, it works better. Do you think we'll see other big companies uh, employing this technique in the future, Audrey? We absolutely will, Sonny. When you looked at the Super Bowl, the, I, everybody probably remembers the Dorito commercial mm -hmm. where they had the young woman who was running um, to try to get that one car and they had little <laughs> flashes of, right. you know, it's hot, it's sexy, it's fun, and as a result, um, they won uh, the money. That cost those people about a buck and a half to make that commercial and it was very and, successful. And I heard that she broke her ankle too, so it did she Cost did, yeah, more. so there was a little bit of an injury there, so it makes a little bit more for drama. Thanks, okay, Audrey. Okay, Audrey, thank you so much. <laughs> and remember, you. Audrey Gusky is with us every Tuesday right here on Facebook.